do you know all the behind the scenes people like Brett Nacho, Sweet Lou, and Sweet Lou goes, I am Sweet Lou. <laughs> Guy takes a picture with Sweet Lou right out here because he's famous. Welcome back to the Lake Show podcast presented by Jack in the Box. If you're enjoying the show, you can check out more original podcasts from our Spectrum News journalists on the Spectrum News app. Just head to the podcast section to listen to the latest episodes. You can download the Spectrum News app on the App Store or Google Play. Maybe they have a weather section <laughs> that you can get all the updates <laughs> that we weren't able to provide. Uh, having said that, it's time for a round of Bucket or Break presented by Bucket Jack in the break. Box. Uh, Bucket or Break. We see Bronny and LeBron play together in the preseason. I am going to brick this one. The great Ryan Trainer, our producer, came up in the preseason. Yeah, I'm brick it. Here's why. Ryan came up with this. Oh, my God, they're going to play in the preseason together. And I started thinking, wow, then that's going to ruin the moment in the regular season. Mm. Went into the control room, had a chat with a few of the fellas. Okay. Came up with this. They're not going to ruin that moment by doing it in the preseason. LeBron's only going to play in a couple of preseason games. Why put them out there together in that moment? Wait till the regular season. Because if that happens in the preseason, then it doesn't matter in the regular season. It's already kind of over with and, and done. You disagree with me. Go ahead, Bryce. Yeet, I was going to bucket this, but you're absolutely right. There's a break. Did I change your mind? Yeah, yeah you got to wait for, as Rob called them, the real games. You know, that's... that's. Why do it in Milwaukee? <laughs> At a, right? You're going to do it in Palm Springs, Bryce? Going to do it at Pfizer Forum? I don't, I don't think so. Allie I mean, is pissed right now. <laughs> I'm not, but I did just remember that they don't play any games at Crypto.com Arena. Yeah, in the that's preseason. your thing. So, and do you think Braun they're doing really it? Really need to play in the preseason like that? Yeah. No. Do you think they're doing it in the preseason, playing those two together? No, I just had to think about it, and you okay. just totally made it this little interpretation Dang. off of my eyes and my face. <laughs> Bucket or break? One-on-one basketball isn't real basketball. You just didn't look happy. All I'm saying. <laughs> what? Bucket or break? One-on-one basketball isn't we did real this basketball. this yesterday. Brez, this is trainer a- show. His show was yesterday, <laughs> not yesterday. Braz, do it. Uh, you said it was. I, I did, you right? You counted oh, it. That's yep. real basketball. Yeah, yeah of you course did. It is. But that tells you me know. everything I need to know about how you really feel. Brick, brick, <laughs> real. I mean, it's bad. It's like one. It's fun basketball, and it's like, sure, you're you know going up against a guy, and you can back him down. But it's not real team basketball. Okay, so then you needed to bucket it. One-on-one basketball isn't real basketball. Oh, Allie hates it. And Allie's a team player. <laughs> you should know that. Yes. It's the off season, <laughs> so we get a lot of rankings by different outlets. Kay. Yahoo Sports listed their top 30 list of number two options on teams, and Anthony Davis was number one. Bucket or brick, you agree with Anthony Davis being listed as a number one second option? This is tough for me because I don't see him as a second option, but of course with LeBron, he is the second option. So I'm going to wait. <laughs> Yes, you're correct. Yeah. But I think he is the second option is what I'm saying. I, I he, he is. <laughs> the point is, is okay, whether he's second option or not, he's on this list. You agree that he's the number one yes, best I second agree. option yes, in the I NBA. Agree. That's over Jamal Murray. That's over yep. uh, Giannis Jamal Antetokounmpo Brown. because some people call Chris Middleton Michael Jordan. Remember when they called Giannis Chris Pippen? Middleton is not the number you one call, option, first of all. <laughs> Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown. <clears throat> Jason Tatum, um, depending on how Devin you look Booker. at it. Devin Booker. Kyrie, Luca, Ooh. Kawhi, Paul George. <laughs> Final brick it because you want me to. Joel, Tyrese, I feel Maxie. like you want me to brick it, so I'm going to brick it. Go ahead, Bress. Uh, no, yeah, bucket I'll, it. I'll go ahead, I'll go ahead and uh, bucket this. I yeah. did. I bucket it. You didn't like it. I mean, all these people we just mentioned, none of them play defense. <laughs> no, no. Are we doing questions after this? <laughs> I think we need to go. I think we need to go. <laughs> JJ at the press conference reiterated, Hell Week has come to a stop today. That's not what JJ said. JJ at the press conference reiterated the importance of Max Christie being a consistent part of the Lakers rotation this season, said defensively that Max Christie has, quote, a real chance to be a high-level impact player on that end. Bucket or brick, you agree with JJ that Max Christie can be a high-level impact player on defense? Hmm. This is a good one. You know, I'm going to agree, but, you know, I, I don't know. We haven't seen enough of him. I feel like I haven't seen him play a meaningful game since like February. I mean, how much has he grown? I want grown? you to watch what, uh, what they're watching right, right there. I mean, the answer is yes, but the sample size is I agree extremely with you on that, small, Geet. 
I'm going to bucket it because the potential to be is there, yes, because yep. of the athleticism, the length, yep. and his ability to kind of – he understands how to play defense. But, yeah, I, I do agree with you. Like, we, we haven't seen it yet. Yeah, I but think I, it's there. But, but the potential's there. I'll go yes. J.J. Reddick knows more than us. He's been working with he him does. the last few months. So it's hard <laughs> to disagree. If said his potential's there, then I believe he's right. <laughs> um, okay. He's paid like $5 million to, to make those. <laughs> Guys, this yeah. is an interesting one. You can bet on Jimmy Butler's media day hairstyle. Here are the current odds, courtesy of Bovada. <sighs> Bald, <laughs> dyed hair. You can see all the, the numbers. Afro, mohawk, twisties with the low fade. Buzz cut, oh. emo, braids, man bun, dreadlocks. So, Bucket or brick, smart money is on Jimmy Butler going with another interesting hairstyle on media day. I, I'm going to, I'm going to, bucket this brez i would never bet on one that he's already done because mm -hmm. i just don't see that happening but i am gonna bucket it that he's going to do it because you kind of has to now unless he's very upset and really wants to be traded and doesn't want to but i feel like he's gonna do it i'm gonna go with dyed i think he i think he shows yeah. up with maybe some uh miami coloration Bald there and dyed jumped out to me as the top <laughs> two in the yeah. race i yeah. like the twisties with the low fade okay i wanted to see what his hair was at the red carpet the other night it was um it was braids, I want to say. It was braids? Yeah. Because we showed that picture. It's going to be interesting. With him and LeBron. What a podcast, guys. Yeah. Whoa. I'm going to go call my dad back. You go All call over your the dad. Place and way longer than it probably needed to be. <laughs> And well, I we think were talking about I Nacho and Brett and the here. Lyft driver. We lost Nacho and Brett. We, yeah, they have been they, pissed they, at us they, for they three hour ago. We were the breaking down upset. hurricane twisters and earthquakes <laughs> where we have zero <laughs> intel on. Yeah. I thought we did Zero. a great job. You Enjoy. know what? One step closer to media day. We're getting closer to media day. We're going through our hell week. We're trying to get ready. So we're going to make sure you guys go through hell week with yeah. us. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks to you for listening to the Lake Show podcast presented by Jack in the Box. If you like what you hear, leave us a rating and review on your favorite podcast app. We want to hear from you. Send us your questions. Hit us up on X at Real A Clifton at Geeter3 and at Mike underscore Bresnahan. I see those names in my sleep. <laughs>